Hello, welcome to another episode of Optic Straight Debates here at Optic Straight Headquarters. Uh, Theodora and I will be with you today. Hello. Um, now, um, we've often received questions on our email regarding one of the categories that we have on our web page. Uh, on our web page, we have a category called uh, adapters, and our customers have often asked, What do you categorize as adapters? And this debate will help uh, solve that issue. So, Theodore, what exactly do we categorize as adapters? Yeah, well, this is a subcategory of mounts. And what is really funny is that a lot of manufacturers they often use the term adapter. So, as we know, we have adapters for clip on optics, we have adapters for bread dots, and so on. But all of this naming got a little bit confusing uh, through time, and so we decided to do a subcategory of adapters where we defined that the adapter is a rail which converts one standard of a rail or, or a dovetail to another standard. So in, in our category of adapters you can find all type of rails which just convert the, the, the rail under to another standard on the rail on top. Uh, we have two adapters like this here. So basically this smaller adapter, this one, this one has an Picatinny profile on top and it goes on 14 mm dovetail on the bottom. The 14 mm dovetail can be found on brake barrel rifles made in uh, Czechoslovakia at that time, now in Czech Republic. Uh, so this adapter uh, transforms the 14 mm dovetail, 14.5 to be exact, on the, on the Czech rifles, uh, to Picatinny standard. So this is an adapter. It just transforms a dovetail to the Picatinny rail. Or this one from Reknagel. Uh, this adapter uh, transforms 11 mm dovetail, which can be found on many small caliber rifles and um, air guns. Uh, it transforms the same to the Picatinny uh, standard. So on your rifle you have an 11 mm dovetail with an adapter you achieve that you have the, the Picatinny rail standard as an upper mounting surface. So I see, um, in what situations exactly would the, the conversion that we just spoke about be useful? Well, I would say the majority of these adapters are used, like those two here, are used to, to mount uh, red dot sights. On, uh, on rifles. So, so most red dot sights have a Picatinny weaver mount underneath. As a standard. As a standard yeah. and so you confer, you just transform the dovetail, 11 mm dovetail, or you transform a 14 mm dovetail to a Picatinny rail on top so that you can, you're able to mount uh, uh, the red dot. Uh, sometimes when the adapters are bigger and longer and uh, more robust, you can even mount heavier scopes on them. So we all know if you have a scope with a, uh, with a 34 mm tube and you have a rifle with 11, meter, uh, 11 mm dovetail, which is quite often, we know that uh, rifles like uh, Acris International, uh, Kepler, Bleiker, a lot of Swiss and German rifles still come with 11 mm dovetail on top of the receiver. Then with such an adapter, you're able to transform that 11 mm to, to Picatinny rail and then you have a wide array of different mounts for mounting of your scope. So basically it's just to, to enable uh, a wider selection of options uh, for uh, mounting any optics on top of the rifles which have dovetails as a standard on their actions. Uh, now that we're already talking about the adapters, so the, the category of adapters on our webpage, um, there is a little bit of similarity with another category that we also have on our webpage and that we also receive quite a lot of questions on the topic and that are risers. Mm -hmm. So um, we have some risers uh, here yeah, and like this one. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about the differences between the adapters and risers? Well, more or less they are the same thing. The only difference is that the riser <coughs> doesn't convert the standard of the, of the rail. If you have a <coughs> I apologize. If you have 11 mm dovetail on the rifle with a riser, you just gain some additional height, but you still have the, the same, same 11 mm uh, dovetail on top. 
So the risers are basically adapters which have the same standard beneath and on top. So on the lower side and on the upper side you have the same standard. So the risers basically just rise the mounting surface, while the adapters they change the mounting surface also. So in adapter you change from dovetail to picatinny, with the riser you don't change, you go from 11 mm to 11 mm, but you have a so difference in height. You use riser when you want to gain some height. Yeah, so like this one it connects to 11 mm dovetail on the, uh, on the bottom and then it has an 11 mm dovetail on the top. So you only gain some height with the riser. Uh, most common are 11 mm to 11 mm, like this one here, and really common are also uh, Picatinny risers, which the riser mounts on a Picatinny rail and has a Picatinny rail profile on top. So you have basically just raised the Picatinny a little bit higher. So basically, there are no special situations in which a riser will be used. It is only used to gain a little bit of weight. And and height. I'm, height yeah. I'm sorry. You gain height. weight also. Yeah. You gain weight as well. <laughs> yeah, but uh, basically you gain a little bit of height so that you can uh, mount your scope a little bit higher. Um, in both cases the mounting is, you should always um, strive towards having as small amount of uh, mounting components as possible. But sometimes you need a riser because there are red dots which have uh, incorporated Picatinny, rail, uh, yes, Picatinny yes. mount in their housing and you're not able to mount them on on 11 mm dovetails, so you need a, an adapter. And sometimes you need a riser because you just need more height and maybe you already have the highest uh, available rings and then there is no other uh, way around it than to use a riser to, to gain additional millimeters of height. I see, thank you for clarifying the differences between the categories on our webpage. You're uh, welcome. I hope that we uh, solve the problems, yeah. so the, that you have a little bit more of an insight uh, of how we categorize rises and adapters on our webpage. Thank you for watching. If you found the video useful, like, subscribe. If we forgot anything, leave a comment below. Or you can also send us an email on our email address. Thank you once again for watching. See you next time. Bye.